good morning everybody. Look at this beautiful day we have here today in Wisconsin. Uh, we are so excited we have to come outside for our workout so we hope that you also get to enjoy some good sunshine today. We are doing a total body workout as promised on Monday. Um, everything this week is total body so we're trying to spread out that workload and make sure that you feel like everything at the end of a workout got a little bit of love and affection. So today we're doing two sets. We're going to go three rounds in each set and the format's a little different than what we've done before. You're going to start with an overhead press. You're going to go immediately to a speed squat. Then you're going to go to a tricep kickback and immediately to a speed sumo squat. And then you're going to go to a plank elbow hold. So the plank elbow hold is designed as a recovery. So it's 60 seconds long, but we want you to bring your heart rate back down and to be able to recover. So it's your choice if you want to use weights on the overhead press and the speed squats, or if you want to put them down and only hold them for the upper body exercises. Everything is in 20 reps except for the plank. So it's a lot of reps, but it's designed to burn out your arms and then boost up your heart rate and activate all those muscles in our lower body. So it should be super fun. We should get sweaty and we should get a little bit out of breath. Um, but we should all be smiling at the end. Are we always? <laughs> so for equipment, we've got weights. Um, Jane is our fearless strength athlete, so she's got 15s and 10s. I've got 10s, Andy's got 10s, and then we've got mats out for the plank elbow hold. So we're gonna cruise through this three rounds really fast, then we'll take a break. If you feel like you need a break during it, go ahead and hit pause, but try to stay with us. Try to stick through the tempo that we're gonna provide you today, all right? Let's get started. So set one that we just recapped, remember we're starting in overhead presses, speed squats, tricep kickbacks, sumo squats to a plank. Everything's in 20s. We wanna keep our tempo moderate on the upper body, but as fast as we can go on that lower body. So overhead press, first round, palms are facing in. We've got 20 of them. So remember, on an overhead press that you want to be conscious of what that low back is doing. So you really do not want to arch or extend that low back in order to bring those weights up. Your goal should be to use your core as a foundation, as a base of support for the exercise. Holy cow. Is that it? So speed fast. squats guys, you can hold your weight or you can go down without them, but we're looking for a fast tempo here. You might not get all the way up, your depth might be a little bit modified, but that's okay because we're looking for heart rate out of this with some good lower body load. This is not how we should do everyone or every squat, but in this situation it is what we want to do. And how much do we love Jane squatting with her, with her 15s? Tricep kickback, guys. I thought you guys were gonna do it with the weights too. <laughs> I said it was optional. <laughs> I heard optional and I <laughs> dropped them. So remember tricep kickbacks, guys. We've got that forward uh, bent over posture. So core, all those core muscles have to be tight, bracing to support yourself here. If you have any low back pain, check your pelvis. See if you're sticking your butt out and arching your back versus extending your hips and keeping your pelvis slightly tilted under. Make sure that you're controlling the weight, upper body controlling both directions. So sumo speed squats. So we're just wider here, working through as much of a full range of motion as you can. Probably not coming up all the way, trying to hit almost to lock out at the top before going right back down. Remember with our sumos, knees have to go in the direction of our toes. Oh. Down to the mat for an elbow plank. So please on this plank guys, keep your hands apart. <clears throat> We've got 60 seconds here. Try to control your breathing as I'm trying to as I talk to you. <laughs> Try to nice and easy inhale and exhale. The more you can control the rate of that exhale, the better you are going to lower that heart rate back down. If this gets a little challenging for you, 
You can always elevate yourself onto a couch or a bench. Um, you can always go up to your palms if you need something a little bit easier on your core. It'll change that angle a bit. You guys are halfway. Otherwise, just think super happy thoughts. Remember to keep your hips tucked under, strong in those shoulders so we're not swaying towards the ground or letting our hips sag. How are you guys doing? Great. Great. The shoulders are a little tired. Yeah, the shoulders will definitely feel this today, guys. Three, two, and break. Oh. All right. That is set one of round one. So we're going back to our overhead press. This time we're taking our palms to a forward posture. Still in 20s, still with those nice speed squats to raise our heart rate up. How I want to do this with one weight. You can't. Yeah, huh? Can't do that. No, your palms. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Man, man, Jane. Palms forward. So if you only have one weight, you can do that. But Jane doesn't have one weight. She's got two. So 20 presses here. Working to that 90 degrees at your elbows. Just about every time you bring it down, or right around your ear height, is where you want to bring those hands down to every time. Pressing nice and high. Do not plank those weights together above your head. Control at the top, core is nice and tight again. Not letting that low back arch. I don't know whose tempo I'm on, but I'm guessing Annie. <laughs> Are we done? Last one. <laughs> <laughs> Speed squats. I'm gonna try them with my weight this time. Shelly does it. I'm doing it. Oh. <laughs> now we left Jane out. Maybe the third no, round. <laughs> Maybe the third round, we'll all do the same thing. I felt guilty that Jane did it, and I didn't did it, do it, which is why it's good to work out with friends. 20. Tricep kickbacks. So if you're not holding your weights, pick them back up. Get into that forward posture, hips extended, weight even through those feet, core nice and tight just extending at those elbows. No motion from your shoulders. Try and keep a neutral head. So instead of looking straight down at your stomach or your chest, try to look out, 45 degree angle, follow. Let your head follow the angle of your spine. squats for speed. Core is nice and tight. Remember you might not be coming all the way up, but you're almost there. Maybe only shaving a couple inches off in order to get right back into that speed or that squat with speed. 20. Woo! Plank, hold 60 seconds. Remember, Glutes are cramping up. <laughs> Glutes are cramping, that's a good thing. You're using all the right muscles. So remember, this gets hard. Modify by trying to raise your arms to an elevated surface, or you can always go down to your knees for five to 10 seconds and go back up. Big key is that you really can't have any low back discomfort here. If you're feeling low back discomfort, think about raising your hips up a little bit higher to try to deload uh, your, your low back and put more effort into your core. If that's not helping, go to your knees or elevate your hands. But remember, we're keeping our hands apart, getting a little bit of posterior shoulder work by externally rotating at our shoulders. Because who doesn't want to work more shoulders? <laughs> Summer arms. This is the only advantage I see to being pregnant. I'm not a big plank lover, although they're so good for you. Three, two, and break. Oh. Far enough along, I don't have to do them anymore. <laughs> okay, guys, one more round. Back to our overhead press. This time, we are gonna take a, a palm forward posture. So what you'll notice is that your hands are really only gonna come as low as your eye level every time. And when you press, you might feel a little bit restricted range of motion. The weights are gonna stay just slightly in front of your head as opposed to going all the way back really depends on your shoulder mobility. But here we go. Palms are up, eye level, pressing straight up. 
So the, it's actually going to decrease that range of motion a little bit at the top, which will put a huge amount of load into those shoulders. So you're never going to get a break. So really key here, keep that core tight. Do not let your back arch. If you need a break, take them down. Start again. 20. Woo! Speed squat. I really got scared. I was going to drop those on my face. Me too. I thought that round went by really quick. Shorter range of motion. on this one too guys so we've done the last two palms in rotate those palms back away from you and we are working still in that kickback fashion remember that motion is still happening at your elbows not at your shoulders you'll see it's a comfortable to bring it up in a neutral grip and push it back by rotating those palms towards the wall or space behind you is just targeting those three tricep heads differently than original. All right, sumo squats, last set guys here. We got 20 of them. Remember, keep your head up as well here. Try not to spend the whole time staring down. Eyes forward, look at our beautiful faces. any stress in that low back or we're elevating our arms or we are going to our knees if this is not hard enough we could do something really fun like this and just put a little weight on the back you know mm -hmm. <laughs> or if I had Bella I would just put her right here on Jane's back just Bella's make a little more than 10 pounds <laughs> Bella is about 55 so that'd be really hard <laughs> but you guys are over halfway, 25 seconds left, almost to the end, really squeeze that core. If you wanted another way to make it hard because you don't have a, a flat weight, like I put on Annie's back, elevate your legs. Throw them up on the couch behind you, shift more of that workload into your shoulders. We have really, and your triceps, that we have really fatigued in the first two exercises. Four seconds, three, two, and break. All right, good job guys. As always, fun round one. We've got one more left. We're gonna get a little bit of water, run through the exercises in involved in round two. We're gonna attack it for three sets and be done for the day. Nice work. Now we're ready. Round two, we are gonna get started here. We've got five exercises again. It's the exact same format with a slight difference because our speed lower leg exercise is now split, which means we are in a single leg or a split stance of some variety. So we've got 20 on each side. So quick rundown, bent over row, you've got 20 reps. We're gonna alternate our grip by round. And we'll hit all three grips. After bent over row, it's split squats for speed, 20 a leg. Then we're going to overhead tricep extension. You can choose one or you can choose two, choose two weights and we're extending straight up for 20 reps. Then we're gonna go to speed side lunges. So you're gonna start in a nice wide stance and you're gonna lunge out to the side and come back in for speed. So that's an exercise that you definitely want to pay close attention to Jane and Annie on. I have a lot of limitations in my range of motion in pregnancy, so mine's gonna look um, a little bit higher in uh, depth than what you guys are probably gonna to wanna to work towards. And we're gonna finish off with a V-sit hold with some single leg alternating for 60 seconds. We're gonna do it three times. And then you're gonna be done for the day. Woo! So let's get cracking right away with our bent over row. We're gonna start neutral grip, 20 reps here. Remember that we are bent over, which means tons of core needs to be turned on in order for us to keep our back nice and comfortable 
without getting any low back discomfort. Really focus on the core. Remember that we're rowing, so we are pinching our shoulder blades. 20. Good. Ooh. We're going to split squats. Yeah. So, so we've got 20 these. speed split squats. Again, your depth might be a little bit modified as we're working through a nice fast pace trying to get that heart rate up here. And that's okay. 20. But we want to be smaller than a full split squat, but bigger than a pulse, all right? If you're barely moving, you gotta try to kick on a little bit of muscle contraction and get yourself higher and deeper. Oh, I hate those so much. <laughs> Overhead tricep extension. We've got 20 of them, guys. We all turned to the side. Oh. So I'm in a tank top, guys. I feel a little uncomfortable facing you with my armpits. So I'll show you the side. Remember, core is tight. Do not arch your back. Sammy, what are you at? 12. What? You started way before us. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna do it for a while. I think. Cause I got to 20, but I don't remember if I exactly started counting at the right time. Um, 20. Speed Good. Side lunges. Speed side lunges. So your feet are stationary. All you want to do is try to come back up almost to tall, but bringing that weight really back to center, pushing that hip out. Load your hip over your knee, which is over your ankle. The more you can push the hip out, the more load you're going to feel in that glute out of this. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay with you, Annie. My my hope when I started was staying with Jade, but I think I it's, a little happy. it's starting to dwindle here. We all know Jane's got that squat speed that we all wish for. <laughs> 20. Woo! All right, V-sit hold with alternating single leg, which is optional, guys, but the, there's no weight or anything to have you guys get into that V-sit, rock back on your sit bones. Now you have the option here guys of hugging one leg in and kind of giving yourself a little bit of hold, a little bit of security to help deload slightly but also increase the challenge because by extending that leg straight you make it a little bit harder, your lever is longer, but you get to compensate by holding onto that leg. You can make this addition even harder by keeping your legs straight or more straight and holding on to the back of that knee and then switching to the other leg and holding yourself in and there's no set time because remember we're going through a timed interval so you don't need to do a certain number of reps or hold it for a certain amount of time do what feels comfortable to you and what you need if you don't like it you can just hold like Annie's doing if he's doing a great job <laughs> and if you prefer holding but maybe your back is turning on you can rest those hands just behind your hips to deload a little. Three, two, and break. Wow. Yep. Everybody feels their core? I know I do. <laughs> You're holding, I'm like, yeah, do you feel it? I feel it. I feel them, I feel them. Okay, bent over row, guys. This round we're gonna go palms facing back or an overhand grip. So you should be showing us the back of your palms, all right? Three, two, here we go, 20 reps. So you're pulling this, uh, weight closer to like your middle chest, right? So somewhere between your navel and your bottom of your sports bra or your chest line for boys, for you boys. I also said navel, which is weird. <laughs> but I didn't know what to do once I said it. Split squats, 20 of these guys. So if you're at home, Maybe you're holding a weight. I'm gonna challenge myself and hold one. You don't have to hold two. But I'm feeling like I like this. A little bit of challenge here. 20. <laughs> I just tried to catch you. <laughs> I'm 
not doing the core, it's nice to get a little extra work out of this Funny. by holding the weight. Tricep extensions. I like to call these and all the bicep work my mom muscles. <laughs> Carrying a baby around soon. And then the backup babysitters. Yeah, so we can all be in shape. <laughs> So remember, get that nice wide stance, toes forward, we're reaching out to the side, trying to bring our balance up to centered each time. Really push that hip out, take a quick look down, are you getting hip, knee, and ankle? If you're not, maybe you need to push your hips out, maybe your adductors are a little bit tight and you're feeling a big stretch in here. Twenty. But if you feel that stretch and you can't get your hips out, try bringing your stance in a little closer. You'll still get that stretch, but you'll be more easily able to shift that weight out. Remember that the bending leg, you're sitting into that glute. You're loading that midfoot heel. Woo! Feeling those hamstrings. Okay, guys. V-sit hold. So try any variation that we shared with you on the previous round. We got 60 seconds here. Everybody's going. We should do whatever feels most comfortable to you. We should have had you closer so you guys could have done a little patty cake. Now let me see you turn. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> she crushed it. Oh boy. Well, that would be quite the core exercise if we made you guys turn on intervals. Might need something a little bouncier. On the bozu. On the bozu. Oh my god, we would die. You guys, we would all just fall off. And not just me because I'm pregnant. Oh man. People looking at us outside filming like we're crazy. 10 seconds. Happy thoughts here. Happy thoughts. Remember, there's only one more round after this, so you're almost done for the day. Three, two, and break. All right, so we are going back to our bent over row. We now have palms under, or your, or your hand should be facing us on the screen. 20 reps, nice tight core. You're pulling closer towards your hips here versus that awkward time I said navel. <laughs> extra calories here building a little bit more strength because when I get back I'm gonna need all the core help I can get it'll be a very humbling experience for all of you to view Alright guys, 20 side lunges. So remember, check your knee, hip, and ankle alignment. Can't say that enough. And remember, these are four speeds, so you want to crank them out. 
focus on shortening a little bit at the top range of motion versus the bottom. Really try to push into that hip. I love my little counter here. <laughs> so I'm on tempo with her. Jane gave up on. But we all did say at the start of this video, let's try to keep tempo with Jane. We failed. Jane might have switched her tempo a little bit. <laughs> all right, guys, last piece at hold here. 60 seconds of fun, and you're done. So here we go. If you haven't tried any of the variations, maybe you want to now, or maybe you're like, hey, it's the last round. I want a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a challenge. Maybe grab your weight. Maybe throw in some bicep presses while we're here. Here we go. Because, because Andy, the Evercore overachiever, is here with us today. So remember, if you choose to do some presses, there's no time, like there's no tempo that you need to keep. There's no set number of reps. If you just do 10 and say that's good, that's great. A little extra work in our shoulders and our triceps for the day. A little extra load on that core. Maybe a distraction. Sometimes distractions are nice. Yeah, that's, that's what this is. <laughs> and he's in full distraction mode. 10 seconds. Seven seconds. Jane's thinking happy thoughts. <laughs> I feel like I'm a Three, shit. two, and break. I'm trying to balance in the water. <laughs> That's it, guys. You we made it. did it. Two, two super fun rounds of three sets or something. You know me, I can't keep my rounds and sets ever verbally straight. So <laughs> good job. Hopefully you guys feel we hit that total body. Hopefully you feel your heart rate still up. I know mine is still slightly elevated right mm -hmm. now. But you guys are done. Have a wonderful day, and we hope to see you later this week. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Please. Please.